storage port with a 42 inch table. This unit is currently wired for a 40, but can also be wired to 20. Um, if you look here, you'll see a couple of little gears hanging. These are actually the feed clutches for the actual power feed. Uh, they were wiped out. They, they were just wiped out. So we put new ones in to take care of the issue. Um, all the feed linkage came off of here. Everything got clean. New dog bone, it will knock off on downstroke and upstroke. Uh, the pull clip came out. Everything was clean. As you can see, everything's nice and clean. <clears throat> Clock spring was adjusted properly. Everything's in nice shape on this unit. Um, the head was in good shape. We didn't have to do anything to the head on this one. Uh, if you look over here, you see it will come with an indicator holder. Um, this is a ROM quick chuck. It comes with an assortment of collets and a couple hold downs. This is all this unit comes with. As you can see, there's nothing inside the little compartment. Um, it does have a single shot lubrication system. And on the back here, you have your main disconnect and you also have a transformer. This transformer runs the digitals. You also plug in a work light to these. This unit also comes with its drawbar. If you look here at the ways, the ways are in nice shape. You can still see the flaking. Um, there is a little bit of wear in the middle, which is very common, but everything's still nice and tight. Uh, new wipers were put on the front of this one. As you can see, as it wipes, everything's nice and clean. If you come here to the back, same thing. Everything's nice and clean. All the wipers are nice and clean on this unit. Ways are in nice shape. Like I said, they're, they're somewhere, but they are in still nice shape. <clears throat> this unit does come with a set of Accurite Digitals. Now when you first plug them in, you will see it will have an E1 error. That means power failure. So all you do is you come over here to clear, then it brings you right back on. Then if you need to re-zero these, you just hit your zero button. So they, uh, as you can see, both axes. Here's the Y. They move really nicely. They don't jarble, skip or anything. Very consistent. Um, there is no warranty on the digitals. We don't warranty the digitals when they come in. We all only warranty them when we put uh, a new set on a machine. See with the x-axis, they work nicely. They repeat. Up here is your power, is your, uh, power switch. Uh, you have your forward and reverse. Right now we are in high range. It also has the quick nut, which is really nice. What, what knocks off with these? It also reverses. Knocks off with these. You also have three rates of feed. You can see here. You have your medium range, you have your slow range, and you have your high range. Watch it knock off one more time. It knocks off with ease, consistent every time. This is your brake up top. Now to shift your ranges, you want to go from out to in to get to low. You'll bring the shifter this way. You always want to sit and jiggle the bottom of the spindle to make sure that it's locked into gear. This is your low range. And you have forward and reverse on both ranges. Now this in here, this is a step pull unit, so to change your speed, you will have to loosen the motor, slide it forward, it's painted in place right now, there it goes, drop the belt down under the, under the desired range, and then tighten it back up. Now when you're switching from low back to high, bring this lever to the left, bring this out, and what you want to do, you always want to make sure you hear it drop in, so sometimes you have to hold the belt. See how it drops in? If you don't, it'll make a horrible noise. 
that for the ways everything goes in and out from end to end really nicely. There's no tight spots. As you can see, it goes all the way to the end very nicely. Come all the way forward with it. You can see it comes all the way forward with ease. I'm, I'm not stressing at all. Let's back a little bit. Uh, the knee goes, goes up and down with ease also. Going up. This is down. You will see this handle, I actually somebody broke it one time and has brazed it back together. But it's perfectly intact and it's strong, so we're just going to leave it alone. Same thing with the x-axis. It goes from end to end with these. We're only going to show it at one end. Goes all the way with these. The backlash on the x axis is 10 thousandths, and on the y axis, you're about 20 thousandths. This is our one horsepower bridge port with the 42 inch table.